If you do not have all components to the packable canister upgrade, please contact Titan Dive Gear directly. You should have one bottom piece with mesh, o-rings, and three supports. One middle column, one top piece with mesh and pull rings, one spring, one neck, one fill cap, one syringe for water removal between dives, and one spares kit with extra mesh and o-rings. Please make sure the outer canister is clean before use. If necessary, clean canister with unscented soap and fresh water. Dry the canister completely before adding any components of the packable canister. Bottom piece outer o-ring, bottom piece inner o-ring, neck outer o-ring, neck inner o-ring. Make sure the mesh is seated in the top and bottom pieces. Simply attach the middle column to the bottom piece. Screw in slowly and do not over tighten middle column to bottom piece. Check that the inner o-ring did not extrude out the bottom during connection. Check the outer o-ring of the bottom piece. You may need to lubricate with Tribolube 71. Also, please note that Titan Dive Gear only supports Tribolube 71 with this product. Any use of other lubrications will void warranty. Insert into outer canister. Check that the bottom three supports rest on the bottom of the canister, not on the X. If all support pieces rest on the bottom, the middle column will be centered. Temporarily place the top piece over the middle column to verify concentricity. Adjust if necessary. Place the fill cap over the middle column. This will prevent sore from traveling down the middle column. Verify the fill line on the middle column. Slowly pour Softoline 812 over the fill cap and fill canister. Pour 6 to 8 inches above the canister to help eliminate dust. Warranty will be void if any other CO2 scrubber material is used. Level sorb all the way around the canister and assure that you have filled to the fill line. Remove the fill cap and store. Install top piece 
mesh down inside the canister. Place the spring on the remaining section of the middle column. Take the neck and gently press down over the spring while screwing into place. Do not cross thread. Please note that the spring will not center around the column until the neck has been put into place. Hand tight only until the neck is seated against the middle column. Do not over tighten. Packing requires a small amount of coordination and skill. Hold the assembled canister with both hands and hit the sides while rotating the canister. An alternate packing method is on your right. Take one finger and place into a top hole on the top piece and attempt to spin. The top piece should not move if the sorb is packed correctly. This is an example of a failed phone dial test. If you see this, remove the neck, spring, and top piece and refer back to step 7 to fill the canister with more sorb. Clean excess dust from the sides of the canister. Check that the pull rings on the top piece lay flat. This will avoid damage to the O2 sensors and solenoid. 